everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Little Dragon Reader. Today I'll be reading the book, The Hackney Martian. Are you wondering what Hackney is? Hackney is actually a place in the United Kingdom quite close to London. Sam watched as a shooting star flashed across the evening sky, but in the blink of an eye it was gone. Nothing exciting ever happens to me, thought Sam. Out in space, Max the Martian was heading home, when suddenly he found himself in the middle of a meteor shower. He tried to navigate through the rain of fireballs, when suddenly there was a huge bang as a meteor smashed into his little spaceship. Thrown into a spin and losing power fast, Max knew that he was in real trouble. But as he tumbled through space, he managed to spot a nearby planet where he could make his emergency landing. Max crashed his little spaceship into a large tree. Feeling slightly dizzy, he looked down and spotted a small boy smiling up at him. Hi, I'm Max. Hello, I'm Sam. Realizing that Max needed to keep out of sight, Sam helped his new found friend drag the spaceship into a nearby tunnel to carry out repairs. Oh no! cried Max. The fuel jewel must have come loose during the meteor storm. Max explained that his spaceship is powered by diamonds and he must find another if he is ever to return home. Max switched on his diamond detector and located a replacement jewel only five miles away. Come on, let's get it, said Max. That might be a problem, explained Sam. That diamond is locked away in a huge fortress called the Tower of London. To reach the jewel, there would be many difficult obstacles to overcome. Problem 1. Distract the ravens. A large family of ravens patrolled the grounds of the tower to alert the guards of any intruders. Problem 2. Get past the guards. For hundreds of years, beef eater guards have protected the tower both day and night. Problem 3. Open the vault door. The diamond is locked away in a huge vault with thick metal doors. Problem 4. Avoid the laser beams. If they managed to get into the vault, they would have to dodge the laser beams or they would set off the alarm. Problem 5. Get the diamond. Even the base that the diamond sits on is alarmed. Sam and Max quickly formed a plan and gathered up all the equipment they would need before setting off on their quest. To keep out of sight, they journeyed under the streets of London through a secret network of old underground tunnels. On their travels, they came across all kinds of nasty, horrible things. The deeper they descended, the darker it became. They even had to swim through caverns filled with murky, smelly water. Eventually, they met some friendly rats who pointed them in the right direction. Beware of the ravens! On and on they crawled and climbed until they finally reached to the secret entrance to the tower. This is it, whispered Max excitedly. Now we have to distract the ravens. Sam used his catapult to fire handfuls of seed for the greedy birds. That should keep them busy. With the ravens distracted, they put on their soft, fluffy slippers and quietly tiptoed past the sleeping guards. They made it to the vault, but the doors were too big and heavy to open. So Max set his ray gun to silent and zapped through the thick metal. Once inside the vault, they looked down into the deep chamber and glimpsed their shining prize below. Sam used his special laser detecting spray 
to safely guide them through the laser beams. Slowly, they lowered themselves down towards the diamond. Just as Max was about to grab the sparkling gem, Sam spotted a warning. Beware the curse of the diamond. This jewel is sparkling, shiny and bright, and many desire to hold it tight. But be warned, its power is double, for those who steal it will only have trouble. Stop! The jewel is cursed! Sam's shouting sent Max into a spin, and he triggered the alarm. All the commotion alerted the ravens, whose loud squawking woke up the guards. The furious ravens gave chase. Sam and Max ran and ran as fast as their feet would carry them. By the time they reached the old well, they were both nearly out of breath. Back underground, heavy rain had started to fill the tunnels with water, making the thick mud very sticky and difficult to run through. And the beef eaters and the ravens started to catch them up. Just then, a huge wave hurtled down the tunnel, crashing into everybody. Luckily for Sam and Max, it carried them away, leaving the beef eaters and ravens far behind. Until finally, it dumped them right back to where they had started from. Feeling tired, wet, and miserable, and without the diamond to power his spaceship, Max thought he may never see his family again. And Sam wondered what his mom would say when he brought his new friend home to live with them. Ta-da! Their plan had failed, and all their efforts had gone to waste. Disappointed, Sam kicked his football in frustration. The ball bounced off the little spaceship and dislodged the embedded meteorite. The rock fell to the floor and cracked open. Diamonds! They both shouted excitedly. Now I can get back home, said Max. With his spaceship prepared, Max was finally ready to fly home. As he climbed aboard, Max handed Sam the remaining diamonds and promised his new friend that he would return one day. All the stars were sparkling just like tiny diamonds as Sam watched his Martian friend disappear into the night sky. And in the blink of an eye, he was gone. The end. Wasn't that story out of this world, everybody? I hope you enjoyed our first alien story. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can stay tuned to see more stories from me, Little Dragon Reader. Goodbye.